I do so love a scratch game. Amazing fun, great round, enjoyable. Kids love it. You can program just about anything. If only it could happen on an iPad. Turns out MIT have been busy and made Octo Studio. First impressions using this were absolutely fantastic. One thing I love is that they've got rid of that flag which nobody understands and replaced it with a play button. They've also increased the number of ways that you can start something. But the classic, when the play button is, you can shake the device, which is a lot of fun, when you tap on the character. When a magnet comes by, which I'm really scared of because they really mean an actual magnet. When the backdrop changes, and when it goes to the edge. So lots of fun options to do things. Anybody know Scratch will know most of these about turning, moving, but they've added a jump button. Somebody understands the inner Mario and the challenge that that causes for most things. Definitely means a rewrite for some of my platformer tutorials in this new fun tool. We've got some really cool words and sounds that, that work well. You can speak with text-to-speech. You can buzz if you're using an iPhone or Android device. And you can say things in the classic cartoon style. So lots of fun to be had with these, especially when telling stories. That means dad jokes are back on. You've got all the tools that you'd expect to be able to set a scene and play with it. I like the fact that they're using images this way. And also remember using an iPad, an iPhone or an Android device. So you can take all the pictures you want and really play with them and animate them in fun ways. There's some very cute colors and effects. There's a glow, there's a flashlight, but that only works on phones with an actual flashlight. So not on your iPad. You can set colors to play with it and uh, you can change the color, which is fun. And those pretty much work exactly the same as in Scratch. Now we move on to control. And what's interesting about this is you have repeat forever. You have your if statements. Interestingly, they've simplified that a bit. There's no real need for an if and else. You've got wait, but you've got the messaging in there, which is one of the more difficult bits of Scratch. But I'm glad it's there because it does allow you to make more complex uh, games and things and particularly when you're making stories. So hats off to them for not shying away for those more challenging aspects. So quite a few blocks there. And then literally they've got a miscellaneous section. And actually that's the most interesting bit. Quite a lot of fun to be had in here. So we're going to make a short little game that I think you're going to enjoy. I'm going to start right at the beginning of this and I'm going to start right at the home screen. And what's nice is it asks you to choose a sprite or choose a backdrop to get you started. And you'll notice you've got paint, camera, and photos. For this one, I'm just going to use the standard sprites. What I love about this is you actually have the choice. One of the limitations of some of the others is you either have a fixed limit of sprites or you haven't got anything to get started at all. So this is a brilliant combination. And so it is a block challenge, but if I said I could make a fun game in three blocks, even in Scratch, it would be a challenge. But I tell you what, I've had mm, rather more fun with this game than I probably should have done. And literally, it's got a gyroscope and it's using that gyroscope to play. So a very simple uh, illustration, but something that I hope you enjoy and shows you just a little taste of what's to come. If you've enjoyed this video and you want me to make more complicated stuff, you want me to make games, you want me to do something, you know what you got to do. Sub to the channel. Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much.